wave sort of came from nowhere and it had my name written all over it and it picked me up and threw me into the coral reef. I just thought to myself I'd broken my back and straight away in the water I knew I was in trouble. When I woke up in Brisbane, uh, some three months after they picked me up from the island, I'd undergone probably 10 operations in that time. I had scars and I had uh, skin grafts and plastic surgery and to be honest I really didn't know where I was or, or what had happened. Yeah, I always had travel insurance travelling. The kind of places I used to like going to, like uh, third world countries in particular, in the ski season in, in Canada. I decided to book a surf trip to this little surf island. It was a, a little tropical paradise. It was in the middle of nowhere. Unfortunately for me, it turned out to be a, uh, <laughs> a nightmare. Well, the first phone call, I just had a gut feeling that something was really wrong. And I remember going into the hospital and next thing they were telling me they needed to operate on me. Uh, we got him out, the travel guard had arranged to get up there, but unfortunately uh, an hour out of Cairns, septic shock set in. If it had been two hours out of Cairns, he would have been dead. There was no way we could have done it without the insurance. I certainly made sure I took out good travel insurance. You know, it's really what saved my life and, and got me back to Australia in one piece. It's been a horrible ride, it's been tough. 18 months now since the accident, but we've made it and so we're really looking forward to the future. Mm -hmm.